start. Oh! <laughs> One, two, three. Scott. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Roller Skating Octopus Podcast. I am Scott, and these are the boys. Oh, man. Is the girl a boy, too? <laughs> yes, the girl's a boy, too. Just a mess. Just a mess. <laughs> She's Just not a sure mess today. this evening. Listen. Tonight we're going to cover... Tired. Tonight Go we're going to cover a serious topic tonight. We're going to talk about Please. mental health, wellness... And suicide prevention. Now, the reason for this is very recently, I have lost quite a few people that I know. Like, and by quite a few, let's put it this way. One is too many. But there have been suicides, possible suicide overdoses. There have been people who have done things to cause problems. And I don't know. The most important thing that we here at the studio want you to know is if you're struggling, these are fucked up times. Go talk to somebody. And it's not call a friend, call your mom, call your grandma, unless she has like dementia and she won't remember it. Well, maybe that'd be good, but talk to someone about this. I know right now things are, fucking bonkers chaotic you know you have you have all this shit going on and you're just when's it gonna end but let me just tell you it is eventually gonna end all of this will pass eventually is it gonna be a pain in the ass and inconvenient absolutely because it's life and that's hard and if it's becoming too much talk to somebody talk to your your religious leader the pastor, the imam, mm-hmm. the, the rabbi, the guy who wears a squid on his head because you belong to really weird religion. The guy who wears a colander on his head. The guy who wears a colander on his head. Religion. You know, talk to somebody. Yeah. So that you don't make a temporary decision that has permanent consequences. Because the people that are left behind are kind of just devastated even further. Tonight on the show, we all know Curtis, we know Serafina. In the background, we got Mary Jo and Dee, and this is Courtney, who is sitting in tonight to offer some insight. Courtney, how are you doing tonight? I'm pretty good. How about you? Doing good. Doing you good. Have you have a guest. Yeah. We're, We're allowed excited. to have guests again. I know we haven't had one <laughs> in a little while. <laughs> but Serafina got a little touchy. So... Wait a minute. Hold on. I didn't get too touchy. Actually, that was a joke. Just a little She's bit. Already held that my was hands. a joke. <laughs> I did. She really doesn't sexually assault people. <laughs> no, I really don't. The sad part is that she went with it. She's just like, no. <laughs> we're here now. Wait, hold on. No, wait a minute. We were at a party. I know I was drunk. There's. I wouldn't put it past me if I was touching. I, I was. Can drunk. we mute her mic, please? Uh, I was drunk, <laughs> and that squirrel had it coming. Wait, no. Squirrels wait a are minute. dangerous. I was talking about women. That one and that one. I'm a woman. You were a woman. That one and I'm that one. Okay, good to know. Definitely. You're welcome. Definitely. Uh, Post production will make some notes. Woman. Woman. Woe man. Are you a woe man? Woe man. Arrow. Good, because I was definitely flirting woman. with you. Yep. Okay. So, she's single, ladies. <laughs> Slide into those DMs. And I'd like to take this opportunity really quick that if you are a parent, and this is my melodious voice is coming out of your child's screen, all right, fucking slap it out of their hands. Your children should not be listening to this. Do it now. Chris Just get rid of it. Or you can explain it to them later, but we're going to use a lot of terms. <laughs> That are really bad, and I know teen <clears throat> suicide is a bad thing too. Yeah. So, suicide if you're a teen general, that's thinking bad. about it and your parents aren't around, I suppose you're gonna fucking watch it anyway. Yeah. But there's a suicide hotline number. Hopefully, you can see it on the screen and everything. It's one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. Call that. Call it. Talk to some people. Get some resources. There are local resources available for here in the Treasure Coast in Florida. And we're going to go over some of those of Courtney and everything. And nationwide. Everywhere. There's a lot of apps now, especially with COVID. They're doing video chats for everything anyway. Better help or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. There's apps, right? What are the names of uh, 
some of the apps that God, people could use for. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, I'll need to let me know when I got to look up things. Better I, health is one, I literally, believe. Literally, better health. That's what you do to let him know if he's going to look something <laughs> up. There's I go, like, I use hey, a medical one called Amwell. Yeah, we put so, you on the spot. That's how we let you know. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's all I, I got, I did get man. the local resources for you. I have them on my phone literally and ready to go. Wait, Courtney's doing better than you. <laughs> he didn't know. That's totally not fair. <laughs> no, wait a minute. We've known about this topic. Oh, that's a fact. <laughs> Obvious. Apps. What are apps? I don't know. What are apps? It's it's not the topic. It's the apps part. It's oh, the... I thought you were talking about abs because like I don't know what those are. I got a big belly. I know what abs are. Do you have abs? Uh, apparently, because I'm sitting up. <laughs> what? I have some Ever. sort of structural rigidity. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't have abdominal muscles, I imagine I'd just be like, Do you have a spine or you know? I have bones. Organs. Uh, I have organs. So here's the thing. I mean, right now we have like an election. We still have this pandemic. Everybody on both sides are calling each other names. And there I, I don't care which side of the political argument you are. There is honestly to me very little leadership going on on both sides. And it shouldn't even have to say both sides because we should just look at our government as a unit and say, holy shit, you know, maybe we should figure something out but we're not we're fighting something with each else. other we have riots we have the left and the right and you know what i'm i'm willing to bet a majority of us are just stuck in the middle going what the fuck are these guys doing facts and all of that can trigger people it can trigger <clears throat> traumas insecurities anxieties that you may not have known that you even have talk to somebody please. reach out to somebody please you really, really, and I don't mean to make this some sort of telethon that bores the hell out of Serafina. Listen, but I'm not you're, you're bored. singing her to sleep, man. I'm not bored. It's my voice. It does that to people. It's no, soothing. listen, it's I've been soothing. up since five thirty. I was working. No, I was, I'm just. <laughs> Curtis doesn't. She's know. also very sensitive. I'm She's very, very sensitive. sensitive. When I'm tired. So I'm cranky. So one app that would be helpful <laughs> is Sorry, uh, my you? three support network. Sure. My um, three support network. Yeah, it, wow. look, it looks. Uh, I heard that wrong. Gives uh, like warning signs, coping strategies, distractions, network, <clears throat> um, people that are available to talk to you. Um, there's a quick button on the app for the suicide prevention hotline number. All right, so we will link that with our info in the YouTube video. That would be really good for people uh, that are like scared to a... take the step to call people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that step yeah. is is the scariest step. Well, maybe if you actually talking somebody. to someone about yeah. it, yeah. To like go, I'm gonna do it this. Once you get over that hurdle, it's it's not as bad. Yeah, maybe they have a thing. You hit a button. Right. Somebody. It's, it's like streaking once, once you get thing, everything out in open air, yeah. and then then it's fine. Well, another but, thing right, about it's a shared burden. Is, right. If if you don't have any uh, resources and you just look them up like you have, yeah. Um, you can add them to it if you need quick reference to them. Okay. Something like that. In the description and in the info and stuff mm -hmm. like that, we are going to be linking various resources, both nationally and locally, that you can reach out to, that you can talk to somebody, that you can – fuck, text me. I mean, I would say call me. I, I'm weird about calls. Text me. Really? If you if are you like absolutely the app have yeah. to call, then call. But, but. <laughs> if you are like, eh, then all right, call me. You can message any of us. You know, but you can message anybody. Oh, yeah. We're all on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, just... And ladies. Our names are in the... Serafina. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for Serafina. Especially for Serafina when she's lonely at night. Just wow. reach out to her. Just okay. reach out to her. Find, find those DMs and slide, slide into them. Slide into those DMs. By the way, if you guys slide into the Octopus DMs, I'm the one that answers them. Just oh, fun fact. She does answer fun them. Fun fact. I try to beat her to it sometimes, but... You never <laughs> talk about She is, though, just so we don't not the only one that looks at them. No. Oh. She's oh. just the only one that answers oh. them. Wait, we can look at them? <laughs> you can. You absolutely can. We all have access to those messages. But if you guys really are bold, go for it. If there's any fan mail for me, send Just it Just remember that the person you're sending the uh, message to is not the only one that's receiving that's read the it. 
eventually I may I read can't, it. I can't. Okay, so yes, I do <laughs> mostly respond, but I can't guarantee if you're gonna flirt in a DM that it's gonna be me because I you flirt work the with skating three twist DMs. men that are assholes. <laughs> If, if, you, if you flirt in the DM, just specify names, please. That, 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 way, that way we know what's wounded, going on. Scott is wounded. Wounded to the core. Wounded You're to the core. You're not an asshole. What? Uh, the audacity. You, asshole. You can't even keep the us. The audacity. <laughs> the what? unmitigated yeah. gall Yeah, you this. seem very hurt by it. No, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I don't care. I didn't think so. But here's the biggest thing is... Yeah, reach out to us. I mean, you'll be like, oh, I'm going to kill it myself, which is absolutely horrible. Scott's and you're going to put it in. absolutely yeah. common. And you're going to put it in. Yeah, a lot of people think about Very it. Very common. Mm-hmm. I do. I mean, I talk to my son. Talk to your kids yeah. about it. Hey, you know, it's normal to feel like giving up and it's normal. I've used this opportunity because he also knew some of the people that passed that I use this opportunity to even talk to my son. Yeah. And be like, because he knew both people that recently passed. Yeah. And I mean, there was a few more before that and he knew two of them too. So it's like, now we're getting on like higher yeah. numbers. Yeah. But the t- other two, he actually spent time with had right. holidays with like, th- there was some connection there. And I used mm-hmm. that opportunity. I'm like, you know, you think about this. He's like, yeah, I think everybody thinks about it. And that's what he said. And I was like, absolutely. I'm like, you have to realize have. how much time that you still have left. And you'll, you realize after the time passed, how temporary of a mm-hmm. thing that was. Yeah. So you do, like I said, you don't want to make that rash decision, rash a decision, right decision there. Yeah. you know, that's, that's at the moment pressing you. And I mean, we've all been there at 3 AM middle of the night, dark, by ourselves, Crying. laying there, just going, what the fuck? Why am I even here? All of that shit. Everyone's been there. Yeah. You're not by yourself. Everybody goes through that. Talk to somebody. If it's, you know, dragging you down, talk to somebody. Because the people that you leave behind are They're not the ones that as suffer. whole anymore. Yeah. They lose a little bit of themselves. So, and it's a real feeling. Like, you can't discount how that person's feeling. They mm-hmm. really feel that hopeless. You know, and talk to somebody. You know, I'm not a huge proponent of religion, but hey, man. If that, would, if yeah, that if is what works yeah. in your yeah. belief system, it helps you, it helps talk to you. your pastor. Talk to your rabbi. Talk to your imam. Talk to your guy it's it's everybody in every yeah. religion has a funny hat talk to the funny hat guy yeah is unless they touch kids they really and like in which hats. Case, oh, don't. why did you have to bring that up because that's some of the reason for suicide and they clear. really oh, like hats yeah. yeah so don't talk to the touchy religious people and talk if they the do touch you people. tell someone that oh too. my god yeah. also Please. mental that's health that's the ties. very important that's part that's what fucks you health, up yeah. if and someone touches you you kill yourself trust me that's on them and not on you or if you touch a priest, you know, stop it. What? It, it, it may seem like a, you know, crisscross. It could happen. Is it, uh, it's like reversal, know, but. Janet, she's it's still 31. Not, it's still not right. Loveless marriage. She mm. sees Oh, I went priest. another direction with that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Father <laughs> O'Malley. Him. Father O'Malley, take me. You know what? What just happened? Was that like the reverse Fifty Shades? I, I, this is, this is the, Courtney, when I tell you, I never know what really is going on in our show. This is what I mean. Okay. Do you understand? You think it's coming this way? No, it just, it just goes. I mean, I'm following. <laughs> Don't wait That's why it's the roller skating octopus. <laughs> okay. So we're making jokes and all this other stuff, and it's really not. It's a coping mechanism. It's a coping mechanism. Really? We don't have, really think it's funny. I'm going to make no. fun of shit. Because that's how I cope with stuff. That's how I get past shit. Yeah. And now, if I've said things to you that really hurt your feelings, then I probably said them just to hurt your feelings. And the reason why I was laughing is because I thought that was funny. Oh, oh my lord. I think everything's what? funny. Jesus. <laughs> well, comedians are the most wounded people. Hi, how you doing? 
She's wounded. Mm-hmm. And clowns are the worst type of people. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve everything they get. Oh, John Wayne Gacy. If you're, but if you're Wait, a clown. Hold on. Extreme example. Thinking of suicide. <laughs> I just don't understand. I get it. You invited me it. here. Why are you fucking clown? Why are we? No. Let's you invited me off. here. Why are we, did I? What are we talking about? Clown suicide? Can we stop talking about clowns? They're just fucking clowns. Me they are, but if you're a clown thinking about suicide, everybody understands. Okay, also, if you're a clown and trying first to go step, attack Scott, run the other first way. First step, stop being clown. Second step, suicide hotline. First step is always stop being a fucking clown. That's <laughs> fucking okay. weird. You're adults. Don't be a clown, you clown. Off. Fucking clowns. I fucking hate clowns. Oh, this clown yeah, talk is be. bothering. Uh... Yeah, really Going to go for a run? <laughs> <laughs> Going to go for a jog? She comes back Good all sweaty. In the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you soaking wet? The Swedish call it yogging. She did. <laughs> <laughs> Do they eat meatballs after? <laughs> they do. Okay, and then they put together furniture. Look, we have a roller skating octopus. That, I I kind of like that host. Co-host. That host don't, is pretty don't, dapper. Don't let, her, don't let her hear that. Pretty dapper. <laughs> I mean, she'll hear it as she watches the podcast. She is gonna watch. But this. that's what two weeks away from now. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a moment. Is what she's, she's waking doing. up. I don't know what she's doing. I think she's pounding cold coffee in the other room, just drinking <laughs> it out of the pot. Intravenous, just she snorted it. <laughs> she snorted. She snorted cold a coffee. Cup of coffee. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny is that there's probably some jackass video of fucking Stevo doing that. Oh, I know oh, it. Facts. And if there's not, oh, they hey, definitely Steve-o, did a coffee enema. Here, pump we're this calling, in your ass. Yeah, it's we're calling you enemas. out, and you need to snort coffee. And if you are doing, in our audience, if you are doing coffee enemas, make sure to look up our mental health where, <laughs> guidelines and resources. Get some help. Stop putting coffee in your ass. Wait, um, what? I just want that too. Full circle. It's very Full popular. Circle. It is, actually. Right? Coffee enemas. Don't. It really fucks up your gastrointestinal <laughs> system. You right? Are not a, meant a lot to. of things people I don't do. know just, how... Can we just stop putting stuff in our butts? Yeah. This is the only <laughs> show. Stop, stop <laughs> chugging <laughs> beer. Yeah. And, just and vodka tampons. No what vodka tampons in your butt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a whole alcoholic thing, which we'll bring into the suicide yeah. thing. Real quick. But, we should get back on track. But chugging <laughs> vodka... Okay, but chugging <laughs> vodka. You wanted to wake you up. You should talk to some mental health professionals or perhaps call the suicide hotline. You wanted just, to wake just don't up. Do it. I did. I you splashed did. water Are in there my any face. comments on any of this? <laughs> it says, Duff That's what I was wondering. That's it. Oh. That uh, was a while ago. Um, I'm seeing. Check. Well, tell us what you want. Giselle, what you really, really want. want. Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> I've been referencing for we'll the audience that just joined no, us. No, listen. I have Scott, been referencing the Spice Girls all day. All fucking all day. day. He I've said been just referencing a, the Spice Girls. He said just a fucking clip of Spice Girls. I'm just like, why? All day. Spice Girls is all day today. Literally, oh, guys. Our podcast exactly cat. Same as it was. Has so, so anyway, who's clicking at a cat? There's a kitty. Oh, it's you. Yeah, we should get back on track. Hey. Yeah, we are one second. second what are you two doing? What's up? Uh, making kissy faces. Turn my mic back on. I can't make jokes if my mic's not back on. Oh, that's true. We're, ma- we're making kissy faces at each other. Oh, okay. Some sort <laughs> I mean, I of production saw it, love like, letter. Oh, oh, wow, oh. D, that was sexy. <laughs> like, there's some sort of production gang over there. <laughs> They talk behind I mean, MJ and D are basically, like, behind the scenes. They can do whatever the hell they want to because there is no camera getting them, and it sucks because, like, there's some days I just want to be like, this is what it fucking looks like. And the funny thing is, is if you aimed your phone at me to try to get it, I'll just stop. I know! You can freeze. You can do this. Hey, you do even have a little bit of time to stop before she gets any of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, 
He's a tree. Smoke bomb. I have one too. Catch you in the mail. Four inch smoke bomb. <laughs> is he going left? Is he going right? Four inch smoke bomb. You have no idea. <laughs> we doing do another flashback for that one? I want one of those ineffective smoke bombs that just like is that wide but puts out a lot of smoke. Like, I am totally obscured right here. <laughs> Oh, Did you guys watch the uh, the episode for this week? I did not. Anyway? I That's did right. You guys see were all running clip. around and chat. Yeah, our I've clip. been trying to open my store so I can have an income. I, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. was getting pesky money. I was uh, eating food. stupid income. <laughs> oh, and talking inspections with Connor. I was visiting uh, with Connor. Okay, so fuck you, Connor, who was on a previous show of ours. Ah, okay. Um, now, no, but think about it. If I if Two years ago. Right. I'm going to walk up to all, all of you and I'm going to go, okay, this is what's going to happen in 2020. After I got out of evaluation for psychiatric disorders, you know what I'm saying? We're living through shit right now that if we tried to describe to people two years ago, oh, yeah. they would force us to call hotlines oh, and yeah. probably be endorsed and monitored by or... somebody. They'd be like, this dude thinks there's going to be like murder hornets and a Carol Baskins <laughs> and a fucking pandemic and a president <laughs> that's just like, it's not real. There were gay in tigers January, everywhere. he's like, it's not really that big deal. We'll have this nipped in the butt by <laughs> February. the Tiger King yeah. portion of the pandemic. The, the, <laughs> you know what? No, that was that one was, of the best parts. It really was. The, the gay tigers. About that. But that think about way, this. I, I loved it. There may I never come watched a time, it. There may come a Girl. time. To where you're gonna have to explain this year oh, yeah, no. to like little kids. You're Our grandkids are not fuck, going to believe right. it. And they're just gonna all. be like, Grandpa's crazy because he just started spouting off all this shit that no one would ever put up. You know, he had Alzheimer's at like 45. Yeah. What, what's <laughs> happening with Gramps over there? So <laughs> these really, really are, but time. that's how crazy yeah. shit is. To where now they're like, oh, look, it's unprecedented. We're gonna have two hurricanes in the Gulf, and we're yeah. just like, so North yeah. Carolina's gonna get yeah. Fucked. Like I'm not putting yes. my shutters up. I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> we can see a news report tomorrow, like Virginia slid into the sea, <laughs> and, 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 we, and we would just and we laugh about that just because it's like it'd be a horrible tragedy. But on the same token, we'd just be like, "Yep." <laughs> no, I but get it. But did they we take the Rona it. with them? Yeah. <laughs> so they what was their infection rate <laughs> right. before they slid into the sea? We, we don't even know anymore. But my point, but you see how crazy mm-hmm. shit is where, you know, Godzilla, right off the coast, you know, anybody's just like, all right, bring it. You know? Pretty much. That's what people's attitudes are now. You either have some people yeah. who just want to... They're the people that, like, shoot guns at the hurricanes. <laughs> you have yeah, those people. On. The Bring American on. flag guy. I love him. I yes. love him. I love He's him. just like, <laughs> fucking America. This is so America. Fucking, that is yeah. so Florida. Yes. That's not even America. He's like, oh. he's like singing Enter Sandman. If you, uh-huh. have, if you have a mullet and an American flag and you are standing on a street during a hurricane just You're screaming at it, you and you look at that as, oh yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> live. You're from Florida. You you live in Florida. You're like, You've he's seen back that again. Live. <laughs> Every neighborhood has one. He's not the hero we want or, <laughs> but or need. <laughs> But he's, he's there. Not. He's definitely there. That's just Florida man. <laughs> Florida man. He's not the hero you need, deserve, or want. want. You, you just, he's but awful. He's, Florida he's, man is entertaining. He's not, though. Imagine being the Wendy's employee that had the alligator thrown at him. Oh, but the video was or, fun. <laughs> or, or the guy who fights the bouncer at the strip club because he wouldn't let his cat in. You know, Wait, like, what? listen, I am, I am no, definitely for the cat. Have done that. Yeah, but that's outrageous. You see what I'm yeah. talking about? Like, <laughs> he's on his just fucking driving mower, just breaking shit. How are we not break shit? I don't that's know. That's my purse. I don't know you. So, shit is so crazy right now, like well, all yeah. that. Like that. And I feel like people in quarantine. Wild. Especially, yeah, you can't be right. left We're not alone. in quarantine. No, Florida. Yeah. No, Florida. What is quarantine to Florida? Nothing. 
But like the people that are <laughs> we right, like California. Yeah, like California, New York, all the states that are taking it seriously. Those people that have mental illness are probably struggling because they're having to like do, you know, therapy over the phone, like through video chat. If at all. If at if all. all yeah. if, people, if at all. And like the, some of these the people whole are medical just medical system straight. Yeah. Oh yeah. They can't be with themselves. They just can't do it. And just being social, yeah. I have a Get family member that can't sit still, and she's like, "This friend, is torture." Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you have a friend that you know <clears throat> is not mentally okay, you need to check. Reach on them. out. Yeah, reach out. Reach out, out to them. Make Get sure they're okay. Get on Facebook Messenger where you can do the yeah. video thing and be like, yeah. ah, and it always makes it look like you're looking up everybody's nose <laughs> all the time because you naturally hold the phone like right. this, so it just goes straight. <laughs> Yes. And you're always looking at yourself and not the camera. Yeah, I'm always yeah. looking at myself. Like, <laughs> well, Scott, I have got you look to at trim. yourself all I've the got fucking to trim. time. Yeah. My nose hair. Gotta get the hedge trimmers out. How many times have you said yeah. that, though? What? How many times have you said that? Said what? He needs to trim his nose hairs? Yeah, how many times have you said like that? Like three. Okay. Why haven't you done it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so let's talk about your diet. Wow! <laughs> How many times she's oh, see, don't did be we mean. just pull the gloves off? <laughs> oh no, she tries to roast me, and I always just. <laughs> <sighs> I listen, instant karma. It's a real thing, especially when Car- Scott's around. I just I. Huh. <laughs> I can't be mean to anybody. She just, you can be. I'm just better at it. <laughs> Scott's really good at it. Okay. Yeah. That's like the only thing you're like really good at. Is really good. <laughs> Very, the nice. Only thing. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> hurting people's feelings. That's I mean, my superpower. I mean, you're good at everything, but you're like really good at that. Oh, don't retract <laughs> it now. That was good. I'm wow. good at a lot of things. You know what? We need to have Courtney on this show way more. Right? Right? We need to get her a cookie. That was yeah. awesome. Oh, definitely. You know she what's funny about that, star. though? Is, you know what's funny about that? I'll totally take that. Yeah, you are so happy. Because I said here's that. the thing. Here's the thing. I could be the leader. Of my own kindest superhero group. <laughs> and they'll be like... What's he good at? What is he good at? He can hurt your... Fi- like the, the fucking... How, what are you going to do in a bank robbery? Just walk up to the guy and be like, What are you doing? Robbing a bank. Really? Are you though? <laughs> are you though? I, I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> You're doing it in those shoes? Really, dude? Really? We're roasting them so out of basically, it. So <laughs> basically, yeah, just make him feel bad about himself. And then call the mental health. No, p- check my phone. <laughs> we don't want to make people feel bad about themselves. Stop. Okay. Look. That's our way that we tell each other we love each other. Yeah. But, but seriously. Yeah. No, guys. Talk it's to like people. a family. I feel like I'm on a telethon. Okay. Here's a tap dancing seven year old. Da, 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 da. Don't fucking kill yourself. There's shit to live for. Here's the thing. Kids our are- podcast is on once a week. Live and see it and. If that's a reason, I can't see why if, that would ever be a reason. I don't know why if, it's a reason, but if you guys are if laughing. If it's a reason. You never know what the reason will be. My dad says that there's like. Puppies. A million reasons. Like, if you think about it honestly, to be real, there's a million Butterfly. reasons oh, to want to die. Yeah. Like, the world oh, sucks. Yeah. But it it's just the way you. It doesn't have to suck. Like, it doesn't. You guys are. You can be, find a reason. Yeah. It could be if the life podcast. life sucks, it's. Kind of the way you're living it, but you've got to find purpose. Yeah, you need to find just find some purpose. Get a hobby. Get a hobby. Any sort of hobby. You can have hobbies that don't even cost money. Be your own legend. Be what? Be your own legend. Be your own legend. I can be your. Oh boy! I just think as soon as she said, (laughs) "Oh boy," that's another throw. Oh boy! As soon as she said, "You can be your own legend," I'm like, "I can be the Loch Ness monster." (laughs) (laughs) Oh boy! Where'd Scott go? He's flopping around in a fucking lake with a foam head on. Is the audio still messed up? Yeah. Yeah. He's got a foam head on. He's flopping around in a lake. He's his own fucking. Are you gonna be? What are you gonna be? You gonna be tiny Sasquatch? Yes, oh, please. I will be tiny Sasquatch. No, I can be an Ewok because I'm tiny. <gasps> You're welcome. You have the fluffy hair. I, no, listen, listen. And and I have the ears at my house. There's a, there's a purple mattress video. Stop. Of the Sasquatches. Oh, and like they the have the little company? Sasquatch. Oh, God, okay. Weird. Yeah. That one's you. <laughs> wow. That one's Sasquatch. definitely you. No, You're not helping. Sasquatch. Not helping. This He's the best, though. I love him. I he don't even know what it is. I'm just chiming in. <laughs> it's great. The greatest. So listen. 
so this shit that's going on is crazy. Courtney, you've had some experience with Mm -hmm. your family. Mm -hmm. Why don't you say what happened there? Um, My mom's sister, this was in the 70s. She killed herself. Um, My mom was very young. She was actually on a suicide watch just by the family. Like she wasn't in an institution or anything. But, um, you know, I think this is kind of proof that if somebody decides they're going to do it, there's nothing you can do to stop them. Absolutely. Yeah. She kind of stopping someone who's not going to. Well, it's not that we're trying to stop anyone because you're right. I mean, one of the people that passed away recently and there was some question whether it was. Did she do it herself intentionally or not? Or was it an accident? Either yeah. way, she's not here any longer. But, you know, for weeks, I talked to her mm-hmm. and, hey, don't do this. I try to give her reasons. You know, hey, come visit me. You know, things like that. You know, all these things. And it the end result's still there. Right. Because you can't stop someone. But they can stop themselves if right. maybe you know i'm not a professional i mean i'm not even that great at doing anything but i'm not a professional counselor i'll talk to you but you know you there are resources out there there are resources even if you don't have insurance which again we're going to post yeah. right information so even if you don't have insurance, there are resources, there are places you can go. Don't be afraid that you're going to talk to one of these places and they're just going to like try to come for you and lock you up. And yeah, that's not really how put you, it no, works. That's, if I, that's how you I've feel, had experience with that. That's not how that works. Yeah. They're not um, going to do that. So if that's your fear, don't worry about it. And I think that like this was in the 70s and she was on medication and was seeing a doctor. It was probably the wrong cocktail. So like that experience made my mom not want to talk about anything or have anything to do with mental health professionals. Um, You know, my therapist, I talked to her about it and she explained to me that like back then it was like the Wild West. They were just throwing cocktails at you, just experimenting as they went. So, I mean, I would hope that like our generation and the younger generations, that fear is kind of falling away. Yeah. Um, you know, it wasn't too long ago that they were just, they were just locking people up. Yeah. Well, you also have to look at it as, you know, you also get that, especially with guys like, Oh, you're mm. bummed out. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a little. There's the machismo cry thing. Yeah. Yeah. Stop being a fucking. Cry and that's baby really in the American like culture that. a lot. Yeah. It, it is. I don't yeah. Have me- okay. Well, yeah, it is. It's suck it up and s- but it's also in other cultures like the British yeah. culture of stiff yeah, upper lip. Yeah, I'm used to it from the, the Hispanic culture. It's really like yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So because even though mental health illness is still an illness. Mm-hmm. It's still a weakness. It should yeah. be treated like it's physical seized, ailments. Right, but it's not. It's looked at as a weakness. I yeah. know, to right. me, I see so, it as strength to, to okay. get help. And to, but, you right. know, I'm also not a man. Right. I mean, I mean the, I'm, I'm sure you, you remember, you know, friends in the military and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, that's always been a no. The, the whole thing big is big issue is with them. You have, well, yeah, I mean... Like we were just at a place with a bunch of people that were in the military mm-hmm. yes. at a party. And yeah, there is that certain machismo, but they understand now right. mm-hmm. that mental health is important. These things are important. Yeah, they were like, I don't want to out anybody or, <laughs> yeah. their, or their diseases, but we I do have a friend of mine that is on disability military for PTSD and certain issues. That's real shit. Yeah. You know, he, I know him very well and he went and did a lot of horrible fucked up shit to some bad people, but that still leaves a scar on the people that had to do it. We can go hoorah, go army. Same thing. Yes. Stiff upper lip. But that person still has to pay a price. Mm -hmm. The end of the night, you're all by yourself. Like if you talk to him about it, it's something he had to do, but it does, there is a price to pay. And thankfully- the mental health physi- professionals were there to assist him and the VA and all that. And yeah. if you're ex-military, go to the VA. 
talk to somebody. Yeah. Ex military. They'll do it for free. Is, <laughs> They're not the yeah. greatest, but it's something. Yeah. They try. Yeah. yeah. They do try. A lot of people go. talk shit about the Just VA, but yeah. it's still there for you, and a lot of people don't get it's that It's better at all. than nothing. It doesn't right. matter who you talk to. Just you need somebody. To talk something. To somebody. You need to let it out because all that negative energy that bottles up inside you is just not okay for you. You need to be just... And therapists really help you become self-aware and then you can kind of catch things before they happen mm-hmm. and then negative repercussions come along right. with it. Right. And the reason why I'm not mentioning anybody's name really specifically on camera or in the video isn't because I didn't care about those people. It's just I didn't contact their families to say, hey, I'm going to talk about such and such is suicide. Yeah. That's their this, story to tell. Yeah. That's their story. So I'm not <laughs> making you anybody. Written consent. And if yeah. you feel like I should have mentioned it, sorry, I'd rather err on the side of right. not throwing everybody's shit out there. So yeah. that's why. That's why we're speaking in generalities. But these are real people that had real lives and, and real sure, families sure and people know. who love them. I'm sure, other people know somebody that's killed yeah. themselves. Like I know and, somebody. Yeah. I, I, I mean, know a few people. I know quite a few people over the years mm-hmm. that have done that, and it's not cool. No. The older you I, get, the worse it gets, too. Yep. <laughs> it really sends a ripple in the families. Yeah. Like, whenever it happens, I think about the families. Yeah, the yeah. families, because they're never going to be the same. Nope. They're never because the same. Because here's the thing with it's always a, whole. a car accident or something, <laughs> there's a, a, you can go, well, a drunk driver hit somebody Mm -hmm. you don't blame them awful you know but when they take their own lives it's like there's that why you know maybe even if you understood why like oh they're horribly depressed it's still yeah but why did it get to that that's not you don't there's something unfulfilled there in other words it goes past the natural order it's like a parent burying a child it just goes against the natural undiagnosed mental illness that's what happened to my aunt i think i'm undiagnosed um so go get diagnosed go all right in our description there's going to be resources i'm i'll get diagnosed shit i don't know what the fuck's wrong with me but there's something wrong with me there may not be anything wrong with you, and you just need therapy. That's or, definitely possible. Yeah. I, I believe everyone needs therapy. I'm like, everybody go to therapy because it helps you become I, self-aware. I do, yeah. People don't know a lot of self-awareness. Yeah, they don't. They think they know themselves better than anybody right. else. I don't know who the fuck well, I am. But, they're, you know, you can talk to somebody for 20 minutes, and they'll be like, you know, hey, did you know that you do this? And you're like, right. I've been doing that for 32 years and nobody's fucking told me about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they just kind of help you navigate through it and point things out. <laughs> right. I mean, th- that's... And don't make your therapist cry. <laughs> Scott. It shouldn't be a Damn scary it, thing. And if you're what uncomfortable you with your therapist, get a I new mean, one. You don't have to it. just oh, yeah. have the first therapist, therapist that you find. Cry. Yeah, right. Wait, hold on. I want to get to the story, the story <laughs> and how he made a therapist cry. Why? I know the story. She wasn't good at her job. But anyway, so, <laughs> so like, as go back to seen, my comment earlier. Mm-hmm. As we, <laughs> Scott's good at hurting people's feelings. <laughs> so anyway, That's we're superpower. so like she said. I mean, you were kind of robbed of that. Yeah. Because your aunt is gone. She's just a story, and the biggest mark of that story is, oh, that your aunt she killed herself. Not, yeah, and it's she, like, like for, yeah, and my and mom she, is like still, still won't talk about right. it. Right? Yeah. Well, that's what happened. And you so. know what's interesting is I feel oddly ever since I was a kid I feel oddly connected to her. Like I'm the one that carries her things now, <coughs> like her things that were left over that we kept. My mom has slowly given them all to me. Hmm. Well, yeah, I feel it's great. I have a picture of her in my hallway. I just. When I look at her, I just, I always have my mom. My mom said that I look like her and she just, she's, but my mannerisms and stuff yeah, have, has reminded her of me. That yeah. Void of it could having be. the actual, actual contact of, or the actual relationship. It's almost like you have to kind of put this ersatz kind of yeah. relationship through objects that she owned. But mm. in fairness, you can kind of tell a little bit about people about the things they own. Yeah. Like I have a penguin stuffed animal. And the head's cut off, and instead there's a kitten skull. <laughs> right, I mean, that makes perfect sense so, for you. Right. There you go. It's and on the mantle, actually. It's, it's on the mantle. I've seen it, guys. It freaked her out a little. 
But no penguins are harmed in the, the filming of this podcast. That There's is a not kitten. a promise. <laughs> There's a kitten. So promise. I didn't do it. It was an artist that made it. Like I said, it's I not a fucking it. promise. I purchased it though, because oh. I liked it. Of course you did. Of course I did. Of course you did. So this bundle of energy next to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I really am. I'm happy to be here. How's Serafina's you. mental health doing it's, right now? Honestly, it's actually a lot better. Good. Ever since we started doing a podcast, like my mental health actually has been getting better. Talking helps. You have a purpose. Start a podcast, and talking people. Helps. Purpose is so <laughs> important. <laughs> well, no, I no, think no, that that's what's happening with people going crazy is they're getting this false been, sense of purpose arguing on the internet. Yeah, and oh. I've been getting, I've been more passionate. <laughs> yeah, nothing better, literally, they had nothing better to do Correct. before, and now, right. now they really, really don't, have and they're going do. crazy. But what's so funny about it is I'm on here, and I'm like, so get a hobby, do something and stuff. <laughs> This is a hobby. Yeah. But uh, also, wait, I like started to sell. a studio. Yeah. Wait a minute. Started so, like, a studio. I've, I've, like, I have been happier. Like, my mental health has been See? a lot happier. And, like, it helps. Ever since, like, I've been happier, like, good things have been happening, too. Yes. That's how it that works. is yeah. so important. Well, you, positivity so brings great. positivity. Manifest destiny. Like, it's so awesome. <laughs> like, I know I probably, I probably shouldn't be saying this. But I got even with an asshole that I work for at my dun, dun, main dun, dun, job. Dun, that we're not lo- supposed to mention. I'm not allowed to talk about it. She but... works for d- God damn it. She does it. I'm just not allowed work? to say Mark that. It. He's, not, <laughs> he's not allowed to say where I work or that word. No. <laughs> Why does he got to say the D word every fucking time? At it's least once per dick. episode. It's not dick. It's At just least a once per episode, I'm going to do this. <laughs> he is. To bleep it out. If you message us, Dong? I'll tell you what the word is. No, it's, he literally <laughs> just said it. Oh, it's I wasn't not, paying attention. It's okay. We'll tell you after the show. Okay. Um, but yeah, no. Don't do wait. that. We're not doing that. We're not Again. doing that. I watched you, Monsters guys, University. Hold on. Hold on. I watched Monsters University last shit. night. That's Sully. Okay. Hey, Mike He's way cuter here. when he does it. That was Sully. Whatever. Are you done? Yes. Okay. But yes, guys, there's always a silver lining to something that's happening. Always. I swear to God, if you touch my fucking face, I'm going to punch you in the gut. <laughs> I can't stand you. So there's... <laughs> oh, God. She's like, there's a silver lining. <laughs> there is. Just don't sit next to Scott. It's right here in your Because I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> You know, I'm not scared to hit you. I did one, a, he could probably kill me. I had a friend of mine named Jenny who just her one thing she used to yell at me all the time was "You ruin everything." I'm like, you're, I wouldn't you're really you good at it. I am. <laughs> we're making a list of shit. Two things you're good at. <laughs> What's funny is after we're at the end of the list, they're just gonna be like, "So apparently you're, you're a, a terrible Loki. person. <laughs> you're Loki. You're Loki, and you're an awful human." Wait, so you're bisexual? Huh? What? <laughs> No, not to my knowledge. I was drinking. But, you know, hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, so we all got to have a side hustle. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Suicide. LGBTQ plus. Back Sky from being stop. a gay hooker. Okay. What? I'm... I said suicide within the LGBTQ plus community. Got to stop. Got to stop. Suicide's pretty much, if you're a human being gotta stop just don't, gotta don't stop. do it I, I, i'm not even gonna break it down into fucking groups i'm not gonna be like if you're black asian white gay you like we don't do that fruit. here you know i don't give a fuck if you're a person and you're listening to me right now don't kill yourself call a professional talk to us i was threatened not to kill myself by the way i will all right i'll threaten you if you kill yourself i'll slap the shit out of you Okay, that makes that is no a sense. Message I've That's actually, actually a felony to assault a corpse, so I'm not Wait, gonna. Wait, what? If yes. you slap a corpse, like you can get that's a funny, that's a. I'm pretty, I really want I mean, people to just slap me across the face now during my wedding. Okay, my so funeral. you know how people <laughs> your wedding. during your wedding, <laughs> your wedding is the also your funeral. Bride. Are you dead at your own? Did it's somebody the use bride. the Necronomicon to bring you back to the Do dead just to marry you? <laughs> You definitely bring a gift. You definitely to the definitely. funeral wedding. I'm, I'm from, I'm it from has from to be a blender. Ride. Definitely bring. All a I'm blender. picturing is <laughs> industrial size blender. Here's the wedding. Here's 
a and fry. Godzilla eats them. You need an air fryer. <laughs> You need an air fryer and candlesticks. Yeah. Wait, wait why? <laughs> We're bringing gifts to the funeral wedding. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. Because right. <laughs> apparently got eaten by Godzilla right after the wedding. Godzilla has short know. arms like T-Rex, right? Yeah, but he shoots fucking laser fire out of oh, his face. Oh, yeah. Out of his He definitely trumps What are you worried about him fucking Don't. clawing you? No. <laughs> I can see dead. debating on definitely. doing the voice. Stop it. Stop it. Do not do the Godzilla scream. Do the Godzilla Stop scream. It. No. no. Okay. I want to hear it. Oh no. I don't do a Godzilla scream. I do a T Rex pterodactyl, pterodactyl uh -oh. whatever screech. Okay, Some I'm sort of not doing it on microphone. Sure. No. Dinosaur no, because thing. it's gonna peak everything. I'm not doing it. Okay. okay so do it all. Because I want to get ready. Oh. It's gonna peak everything. Not, hill. Yeah, I'll listen. I'll probably the the where our audio's been going. The power yeah. goes out. He does it, and the power goes out. Yeah, power goes out. <laughs> Three pipes it's burst in the walls. See the. The, where they Scott's go in like, the movies where you just it. blow out to space you see the outline of the US just go dark <laughs> <laughs> what happened <laughs> dun, dun, some dun, fucking dun. moron that has a goddamn <laughs> podcast his fucking tech guy producer fucking blew out the whole eastern seaboard so we talked to the guy and nobody gives a fuck apparently nobody fucking no. cares you know what he said he said go call suicide prevention hotline about it that's all he's worried about they'll that's talk to you about. they will talk they'll to talk you. to you they will i won't i'll be like i've never called a hotline like that's just you? crisis no i'm not i'm at, has anyone in this room I've called a should we call that number now no. Why? No. <laughs> Is it just like crisis, it's just crisis management? I know what she oh, means. No, I, I, don't, I, don't I know what she means. It. Yeah, just to, see what it sounds like. But I think the actual like reserve because they have you know a limited bandwidth they can have on right. phone calls and whatever. So I think it would be better to reserve that for actual yeah. people who are in there. <laughs> so I mean, we're it's interesting though because we're talking about it like it's simple, but I you uh, know I'm people sure that are not. like at that brink. It's hard. I'd hope that they don't, that I guess our, what we're trying to get across is let's kind of get help oh, before we're there. I have yeah. stories. Yeah. Too. Well, there, there have been times where I have had a men mental breakdown at my job. Mm -hmm. Right. And I've, you know, I've done some silly, stupid things because like, I was just so frustrated and I couldn't cry and I couldn't get out of my, my anger unless I did something I'll tell you guys later, but like I did something and someone saw it. And then my store manager was like, talks to me the next day that I work and he goes, there's something wrong with you. You should call like a counselor or something. That's not how you go about telling somebody to call somebody. For no, you always go. You ask questions. Yeah. No, he's You're, like, you should why ask did questions. you do this? Why, why, what's wrong with you? Like, why don't you call somebody? I'm like, how about you get off the couch when you feel like you want to just die and then go to work and then people just act like you're a fucking piece of crap. Yeah. Don't do your job. You just keep disappearing. Listen, I was doing my job. I was quiet. Nobody could see me because I was quiet. They didn't know where I was, but I was doing my job. They can't see me because I'm short. You're so if they yeah. hear me, they know where I am. But they so couldn't hear me. They couldn't see me. And no, I'm not. But I was quiet. That particular and day. Yeah. Yeah. And what she does for a living, she's a ninja. Okay. Yeah. So I like know. the oh, problem she is, <laughs> is she's like, I'm quiet and you're small and you're a ninja. So it's like at your ninja job, you know. They had a problem seeing you, and, you know, it caused an issue, is what I'm saying. So, basically, if you know that someone is not acting right, like, you know they're bubbly as, in, as a normal day, and they're just acting weird one day, mm -hmm. don't get on their fucking ass. Yeah. Don't get on their ass and be like, or you're, if you you're, do, you're, you know, you're, you you're know, not doing anything. Do what it are in you the doing? right way. Why are you doing this? And then, like, if you hear about it, don't just be like... There's something wrong with you. You should call therapy. Yeah, yeah I've been fuck you. I people, feel like no when offense, people... Fuck you. I've been giving people a little more extra leeway yeah, lately. Like, people right. can read those cues and they choose to push buttons rather than dialing it back. Absolutely. That's, uh, That's what happened to me. Honestly, because you guys know I'm doing uh, college and right. I'm going in for psychology and stuff like that. And that's when I... I like how he's this doing, one, yeah. doing this. Yeah, she's blah, blah, going blah. to college for psychology. Um, you just got through finals. It's uh, from last semester, now yeah. I'm in my other semester. Yeah, yeah. now you're starting it up uh, again. 
But that's kind of one of the main things that pushed me towards it is like, especially in like professional situations like that, managers and, and was stuff a should be. fucking store manager that said that to me. Should yeah, have, that's inappropriate. Should have some sort of training for stuff like that. And they don't, and I, stuff I like work that. in a similar job you to know, her, and I'm, we don't get training. Yeah. No, and they in, don't. And in high yeah. stress jobs, especially, yeah. especially right now, everyone, they should if be sitting down. If you're not empathetic in nature, you're just a dick. And oh, no, this guy needs yeah. to be fired. Like, yeah. there's something else that has happened with this man. Yeah. But, like, nobody does anything about it. Nobody. That's but I got common. his ass in trouble, so I feel <laughs> justice. Yeah. I'll tell you that story off the air. Yeah. She went I, straight I to Walt. About it. I went straight to the district manager. Anyway, um, yeah. I can say that. <laughs> you went straight to, I went straight to what? Went straight to Walt. What does that mean? Oh, you'll you didn't get it? it? No. You'll figure it oh. out later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were best friends. You got so it. I, I got am it. so <laughs> trying to work around this. You really are. You're doing so a great working job. around this. You're doing a Here's great job. Here's my issue. They were this best friends and they went golfing talents. together. I'm just going to work around it. <laughs> I no, think we should make that the W word, though. No, you can say that. Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman was a very talented philosopher. Very, very, well, or he was a singer. He, was he a singer? Well, yeah, he was the voice the of, uh, of Frosty the Snowman, I think. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Walt Whitman. Who was the voice of Frosty the Snowman in the animated? No, it was not Ed Asner. <laughs> no, he was. I just, uh, made, I just threw out a name. Wasn't Ed, Ed Asner was the? Uh, wasn't he like the firehead dude from the? He was. Yes, I'm yes, he was. That one. What was it? I missed. The angry, the angry Why one. Christmas. Jackie missed... Vernon. No, no, yeah, no it was no. way off. <laughs> no, from Frosty the Snowman. I not Frosty the Snowman. Which mother. version? There's like 15 different I versions of that movie now. Yeah. They've made like a new version Look up every Walt two Whitman years. Snowman. See if he actually <laughs> was. Because I no, I have to. Why? Because I'm fucking insane. We, roller is... coaster. Remember, baby, going on the roller coaster. Why? Yeah, ups and downs. This fucking podcast has a lot of ups and downs. We've gone through a lot of downs like today, so we gotta go back up. up. I know, I know, I know. It's we're, a great we're on. space coaster. Get on board for the great space coaster. <laughs> we'll explore. Yeah. Your love is like a roller coaster, baby, baby. <laughs> It's Aren't you glad I came fun. over? <laughs> I am. I'm, it, it's a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> but I will tell you, once we're done with the this podcast, literally I'm going the, home and sleeping. Yeah, Me this, too. What's funny about the podcast is even if nobody <laughs> watches this, which I hope even if one person watches it and goes, oh, I'm going to get some help. Um, okay, so this is a serious topic, guys. This, is, this is a serious is, topic. We don't know how to... Right. We are not professionals. I mean, we, no. You're this the most. It sounds like you're this the most professional person here. He's got but the radio voice. But we're trying. We're trying. I actually talk yeah. in my personal and family life. We talk about this topic a lot. Yeah. Good. And There's a lot of about. addiction and um, abuse, and we kind of just talk about it like it's you know nonchalantly to just share the burden and right. get it out there like right. th we, this isn't something that has to be shameful Th you know this person it, didn't it choose to be. be abused it happens to everybody it right. shouldn't be at all family members didn't choose to be addicts you know people didn't choose to be raped or like touched right. inappropriately exactly. okay so I was wrong about Walt Whitman <laughs> <laughs> really? exactly so if you can just you know talk Walt about Whitman. it so who is Walt Whitman he was a famous poet. He was a famous poet. I was close. I was okay. closer than you. Well, I, no I, singer. I slash could tell you who was the founder yeah. of my job, but I would give away my job. I know so people in the literary don't say, field. Don't even Sorry, rhyme guys. it because I even know that name. Yeah, please don't. We're I not won't. gonna do it right now. But I'll tell you guys when we get off the air. <laughs> okay. I, I could throw everybody off right now. Does does it rhyme with small farts? Sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. The oh, retail it store. It does pop, it pop sound it like with pop tart? Pop tart. Is Ooh, it pop tart? Pop is it, is do you it eat them market? warm or raw? <laughs> Mar 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 Mar
Frozen? Oh, po- like toaster strudels? No, go. the uh, the, the pop. Go. There's certain pop tarts that uh, taste really good if you freeze them. Yeah, there's some um, the, yes. the hot fudge yeah. sundae one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. one's really yeah. good. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's a like thing. an ice cream sandwich. That's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Oh shit, that's another reason to live. Frozen ice cream sundae pop tarts. Frozen pop tarts. I try to focus amazing. on the little dumb things. It's like that's an upside. Dude, pumpkin pie, pop tarts, oven, boom, okay. a cup of tea. Oh, nom, nom, nom. You don't, I even, love tea. You don't even need to. They I taste love amazing. I can't wait for that part of the hour. You know what I had today? Pumpkin video. spice latte. <gasps> I, I got the pumpkin Yo, cream a... cold brew. Wait a minute. So good. Wait, wait So wait, good. Wait, they have a pumpkin chai tea latte. I don't like chai. I, mean, I love I it. love chai tea. Mm, but I just love it. It's pretty good, yeah. Isn't, doesn't chai mean tea, so we're saying tea tea? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, am I wrong? Don't you call I your no aunt T.T.? You gotta find I'm out. Look look okay, up. look it up. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> She's like, I like being on this show. Just order people around to look Can you look that me. up real quick? Look that up for me. And I'd like uh, coffee, Thanks, extra Junior. cream, no sugar. Can, can, can you, can you get out a there. DoorDash order for Starbucks, please? I do need a <laughs> refill. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> well... This, I hope this show has been informative. We're going to wait to do our outro until we find put out all what the links T is. In the description but below. All the links are going to be in the description below. Hit the I button, all that. Get info, please. It's been if an hour you're already. thinking about everything, <laughs> just talk so, to someone. So, yeah, we're going to give links to um, individual therapy on a sliding scale. So, if you don't have insurance, mm-hmm. we're also going to give links to medical and dental care that yeah, are you gotta get all those to sliding yeah. scale, no insurance. Locally, Martin right. County. Locally, Martin County, St. Louis County. Yep, St. Lucie. Um, that aren't New Horizons because everyone knows New Horizons course, and they're great yeah. for what they do, but you cannot get individual therapy from them as an adult. Right. Without insurance. You have That's to have insurance. Well, also, uh, chai, me, it, its meaning literally says a type of Indian tea made especially by boiling the tea leaves with milk, sugar, and oh, so car- it's the uh, cardamom, 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 cardamom. Mm-hmm. cardamom. It's delicious. So wait, I want a little some pepper tea. in there. Too. So it is tea tea. It's so tea basically, tea. it's <laughs> Indian tea tea. It's in- oh, it's Indian, Indian, Indian tea, tea. tea tea. Can I get some Indian tea tea? My from favorite sorry. kind. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Let's make this as racist as possible. Am I trying again? This is racist as possible. You're not going to do your like a little Hindi dance or something while you're at it. Sure. I'm shitting. (laughs) (laughs) And of course, wait a minute. That's not fair. Get the camera. Get the camera. And this, my co-host, Serafina Bollywood. Whoa, whoa, whoa! (laughs) Hold on. (laughs) Wait a minute. What? How's that not racist? I she's thought we dancing. were doing Bollywood. No? She's just dancing. I'm wow. Puerto Rican. This is how we dance. Okay, and I'm Mexican. My dad would be so angry with me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're making me look bad. Uh. My mom's just probably like, fuck. Yeah, probably. I feel like that's my whole family every time they see one of these. Oh, so we God, still yeah. need to get her email from you, by the way. Yeah. What? So we can make sure she watches these videos. Yeah. Who? Your mom. mom. Hell so, no. So she knows no. how. You know what? How well you're. D- Mommy, I love you. Fuck no, you're not allowed to watch this. Yes. Seraphina's mother, directly. So. From me to you. When I fight Joel Olstein <laughs> oh, in the parking lot oh, of his church, I want you on the oh, front row. No. You knew I couldn't get without a show without why, saying that. Why did you? Why? That. I had to. <sighs> Look. You did a whole fucking there, ten minutes. If minute you want to go after Joel Osteen, you need to go, to go after that old guy. It was a forty-five minutes. It was a forty-five minutes. It, 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 it wasn't thing? ten minutes. Wow, I was messed up. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to mention you, you that. Tired, we'll yes. probably cut that out. But listen, that's going to be a mini episode. We love you. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like a five-minute episode of me just going. <laughs> but he's not allowed to have scotch on the show no anymore. I'm not I actually <laughs> no what's funny is when we were at the housewarming mm-hmm. I had like a beer I had a half a beer and then I'm like coke boom water boom <laughs> Slow it no down. Scotch. <laughs> no scotch. No. Scotch apparently makes me want to yell about <laughs> religion and speech. politics. Why are you going to bring that name up? Because. He just makes me want to fight. I you know. need to be going like, after the old guy. I'm going to start What's playing. What's his name? Uh, I can't. I can never remember his name. The old guy with the jet. 
Oh, the virgin mobile guy? No, no, no. No, the, he's the not a pastor, fucking preacher. The TV pastor. I don't fucking uh, know. All right, if you're a TV pastor, <laughs> apparently... Because there's more than well, Joel Osteen. Apparently, I just want to fight you in your own church parking lot, so let's go. Oh, wow. There's, there's the well, old one that they've been doing memes about lately yes. where he's all like... That's and, the guy I'm talking about, and, crazy face. Yeah, yeah. yeah he poor like, people he, are evil and yeah, all that. He okay. like, yeah, um, so he like... Trying to cast out COVID. <laughs> <laughs> God, we cannot um, stay on top. So, real quick. No, we yes. can't stay on top. Um, part of Demi mental health. in the comments said, Fudge brownies are the best ones frozen. On the pop tart situation. Oh, really? Are you freezing more? Say it on the yeah. packages. Yeah. Shut yes. up. What? <laughs> fudge. The she fuck? said, "Shut up." Fudge why brownies. So We're not saying aggressive. that. No shit. Demi, why you gotta be on their side with so, this stuff? So because <laughs> it's good. Because they're good. Well, now I have to do this. Yeah. You have to. So yeah. the fudge ice cream and but the I fudge brownie. But I will wait for a bogo because I like a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I will say if you do one of the regular like fruit flavored ones, it kind of tastes like more of a Jolly Rancher because the yeah. texture makes it you know hard. It's like jelly. You know yeah. yeah. Our society has changed in so many ways. Like she said, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe was like a size sixteen and shit. Oh, like right. she was. Yeah. She was a twelve. And now she it's was like, a twelve. Yeah. And she wasn't yeah. fat. But my whole point but the is, the fat is acceptant like, people want to take her, but she wasn't fat. She wasn't fat. I'm not saying she was fat. I saw her naked. I looked up the Marilyn Monroe naked oh, pictures. Oh, there's a hand. Where she had that Can we talk about bush? Lang? <laughs> where oh. she had like Jessica the Lang. Bush? Oh my god, any Jessica day. Lang. Yeah. Does we can talk about any pictures? woman. You I don't think so. <laughs> Jessica Lang. Has... Isn't she like 80 right now, Jessica Lang? <laughs> She's still got it. Isn't I know she what like kind the lady from Murder? She wrote. Is that, no, no, that's, that's Angela, Angela Lansbury. Lansbury. <laughs> that's that's kind of what, what I was what was popping oh in my, my head God. too. She was <laughs> in bed knobs and broomsticks. What's oh, funny? Oh, should I have not said going, that? I'm just picturing. How old? <laughs> Jessica Lang is 71 years old. 71. She's still banging. Which, which one is? <laughs> you know what's hilarious? I have to look it up. American now. Horror Story. <laughs> you know? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Nobody oh, knew. That was a collective. That was a collective. Everybody. We collectively, <laughs> that needle goes from no clue to got it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, I had to uh, activate the hive mind there. <laughs> it's a switch on the board. It's, like, yeah, it's what feeds through our headphones. I have an idea. I, I give Why up. do I taste strawberry? What? Um, it's the Pop Tarts. <laughs> Apparently, hot fudge brownie. So, mm. back to topics. That we actually were supposed to cover. Um, suicide prevention, mental health. Check in with your friends. Like, I know after all this, I've been checking in with some people. If I haven't checked in, don't be like, yeah, I love it. I, I do. I'm such a busy human. Please. <laughs> really right, does. we're all still like, working. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We've been working this whole time. Yeah. Because <sighs> Florida doesn't understand. So, but go ahead. Yeah, the essential workers are now like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. That lasted like a week, right? So we get the stress. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. imagine being, imagine being like going from one week, like if you're a cop, and from one week being like, you're essential, thank you, safe to be like, to like burning down yeah. police stations. Uh, go die. Bro, let me message. tell you something. Like, there's people that are like, oh my God, we so appreciate the essential workers. I'm not going to wear a fucking mask in your store so you can go suck it. Yeah. So we the, we like the concept of being cool with things, but in application, we're yeah. awful. It's like going, you know what we should do? Give toddlers baby checks. Because what's cuter <laughs> than that? You know why we don't do that? Because the application of that is a bunch of dead baby chicks. So chickens or ducks? Chick, chick, chick. Chicks, just well, little baby, okay. cute, fuzzy little chickens. chickens. Oh. I guess either or. I was would thinking work. about peeps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was marshmallow so everywhere. I was thinking about peeps. <laughs> Those are a choking Got hazard. It. <laughs> Got it. I mean, so are regular chicks too. Yeah, so are regular. <laughs> but chicks. they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the head? Where's the head? Baby's just gonna bite the head right off of that. Well, Aussies. Little Aussies. So, can I say though, on a serious note, what I hope that comes out of this is that maybe just somebody talks to their friends, calls a professional, or even just talks to their friends about any trauma. I bet nine times out of ten they can go, dude, same, and on some level. Yeah. 
People yeah, are I mean, like hiding all of this trauma, and we're all experiencing it. Yeah, I mean, well, it's because it was normalized to hide your internal feelings. And right. Well, it's not. It's not okay to hide it. You need to talk about it in order to feel better as a person. Like um, you need to like that's a release. Yeah. When you speak about it, you release it into yeah. the universe. Well, and, you'll wake up in certain days and just be around other people, and it's almost like. On certain days, there's almost just that imbalance, panicky feeling. You can yeah. get triggered like, by it's something like you see. Literally, we're a bunch of just. It's like being around a bunch of very panicky cows. <laughs> yeah. Like yes. Fuck! I need to go get That's eggs. A good analogy. But I don't want to be trampled in a stampede right you now. You feel like they're all staring at like, you. They're, oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, I went to the gun store because now. I have liberal friends that don't believe in guns. Thank you for taking me, by the way. Like, yeah, you're welcome. Um, but <laughs> I'm what? used to going before all of this, and then you go now, and you have people picking up. I saw, like, multiple people picking up weapons that are like, okay, now how do you use it? And the people going, you should not have right, this. Right. Like, this is not the one for you. I can't give you 10 seconds on how <laughs> not to shoot your dog accidentally. Right. You know, so... Let's let's be safe out there. That's how crazy things are getting. Yeah, if you're yeah. gun shy, don't buy an AR. And you gotta <laughs> fucking me. This is why I need get a yourself sword. a twenty two. <laughs> I have a sword. I'm just gonna start chopping people. No, you don't want a sword. You'll sh- chop off your own hands. Stop. Actually, <laughs> in the uh, state of Florida, you'll chop you're your legally eye allowed out. to carry around a sword. Carry open, open. a open fucking carry sword. You're allowed open to open carry, carry swords. swords. Oh, okay. Can she sword. can she open carry a sword topless? <laughs> Like, um, like, like, I don't the know sword about is topless Florida, or she's topless. She's topless. Oh, okay. In New York, in New you can York, for sure. Can. You can open <laughs> carry a sword while I'm topless. Do it. I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it now. <laughs> I'm totally buying a fucking sword and gonna go topless through my neighborhood. Be like, fuck you! They, they might call the cops for a mental health evaluation. So, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, if you do that... Immediately afterwards, call one of the resources that'll be listed in the notes section of mm-hmm. this video. Description. Please, because I'll message you. the information to the podcast. That's th- that that'll work. That yeah. would be the best only thing to you do. can prevent forest fires. Shut the fuck up. No, that's way too much pressure for one person. Yeah. Though. Right. That was a horrible as, message. As an eight-year-old child, yeah. and you don't even live anywhere near <laughs> know, Oregon right, or yeah, wherever right. the fuck he is with You're all like, the coniferous Florida, trees. There's so much water. Right? What if you have a kid in New York City. He's just I was like, about where? to say, like, what the hell's a tree? Yeah, you're from a like, forest. <laughs> what the forest? <laughs> you're from, like, Brooklyn or you something. You gotta go yeah, from I'm Vermont from or something. Like, we oh, had woods, sorry. but, like, I'm it's still not a forest. Like, I didn't know. From fucking New York. Like... <laughs> a forest is different from the woods, like, which is like at the end of the yeah, block. Yeah, we have yeah. woods like, here. We don't you have. You walk a- through the woods, then you're on, you're on another block like five minutes later. <laughs> you ever notice what they call uh, forest in Florida is just this angry place? <laughs> <laughs> palmetto trees. It's like, yeah. All palmetto oh, trees. Yeah, yeah yes. it's just plants that are pissed. Yeah. Like with animals that are even spikes. more pissed. Exactly. Everything oh my God, in crabs, Florida. Like if you, your fucking feet. if you do, I mean, I know people visit here and they're like, it's so beautiful. But no. if you actually look at like Florida's if you wild actually, it's horrible. Yeah, it's not the and beach. And our it's, fauna. It's, it's all sand. Everything's just designed to poison you, stab you, or get you, you away from it and just fight you. We're the Australia like, we of the We're the we're Australia the of yeah. the United States. And I but like Australia a, is the Florida, the Florida of the world. Of the world. Yeah. Right. So it's kind of Wait, <laughs> we, we are the flashbacks, flashbacks having flashbacks. <laughs> but what's great about it, what's totally great about it is we try to pull it off and be like, oh, it's a scrub forest. That's not a good title either. <laughs> like that's supposed to make us go, oh, okay. So a bunch of pine trees you set fire to every couple of years in palmetto bushes. No, for real, they really it's fucking supposed, do It's supposed that to be shit. like every six months. Yeah, with sand. Yeah, they do down Green and, River. And by the way, if you do come to Martin County, on twenty fifth over in the Oxford they do side? tend yeah. to get. Well, I remember Port St. Lucie. What they burnt down like a neighborhood. Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> Like, I remember that. Those that was like when I was in middle school. That just get out of here. Yeah, no, it happens. Like they set the savannas on fire. Like it's a controlled burn. That's I my house. That. I'd say do it during the dry months, but Florida. We do don't it. have dry months. What's a dry month? Oh, I remember there was. <laughs> or don't do it is during it like, dry months. No, it's just wait a February. <laughs> Forget it. No dry month. No, Half there is no such thing. Right. There is no such thing as a dry month because everybody's <laughs> drunk. Yeah, that's Florida. Oh, um, okay. 
<laughs> Tell me play, I'm wrong. That's play on words. Good job. Thank that was you. great. After 2 a.m. and before <laughs> 7, it's oh. dry. I don't know. So at least five hours. Hours. <laughs> you're not uh, even no. safe during those five hours because at two somebody just yeah. pounded a twelve pack and and they got, of, of white claws, and then they just <laughs> claws the law, baby. Then, one time, yeah, that was one time. They, they found it some alligator once. next to a. It pond. only takes once. So right now they're trying to skateboard down the road at three a.m. with no pants on, <laughs> holding an alligator. Yeah, and a cop's gonna find him and just go. Why? Fucking Florida. <laughs> like, I do Every feel bad. Time. Just like, a little. I do feel a Just little bit bad for some of the emergency personnel, like, that have to show up for shit. Oh, no. Especially in Florida. Like, an EMT showing up. What happened? Because I watched a kid <laughs> oh my God. pick up a shark, like a little baby shark out of the water. <laughs> yeah, this one bit no. him. <laughs> Just swung over a bit. He apparently yeah. didn't want him picking him up. Swung over a bit on the leg. <laughs> and you get a paramedic call like that, like, what happened? I picked up the shark and then it, wait, what did you do? <laughs> but it only got its legs, so that's good. I it could have been worse. I picked up the shark and it bit me. Is the shark okay? Why, Why are you picking Why up sharks? Why did you pick up the shark? Like, what, you're shocked Why didn't you? <laughs> you pick up the shark? It's like my friend thought he was fucking Steve Irwin one time. I'm gonna get this snake. Da, 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 da. Bit him. Crikey. Fucking bit him right in the fucking leg, trying to pick it up by the tail. You know why? You're not fucking Steve Irwin. The, Nobody the, is. Now. Any, anyone that's even close to that knows they're gonna get bit anyway. Yeah. You know, people that are herpetologists or whatever. Mm -hmm. bite you. They know, okay, I'm I mean, gonna I grab the snake. Cat, it but... is probably, what? Well, I don't wanna, but... They're used to getting bit. Yeah. I mean. I don't want a pet that I have to. <laughs> like, what's going on? Hey, do you want to see this pet? Right in the face. You know. That's not what I asked. And it Let's just go. wraps around your head. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh. When I was four, I had a boa constrictor around my neck. Yeah. Well, listen. That means Mr. That Mrs. Is, yeah. loves you. That, that, that explains I a few things. Even, like, what? I've been bitten by ball pythons numerous times. Just a little Did bit of vodka. Did you ever name one mittens? Oh, no, that would be a perfect but one bitten. was named Sun <laughs> Sunny. Sunny. Like, Sunny I, would, I would have some asshole name for my snake. I'd be like, his name's Mittens. Why? He can't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reminding of what him is he's missing shoes? out. I would seriously, I I can't have a snake. I would just mock it all the time. I do it to the dog. I'll be like, look. The thumbs, good thing is the uh, snake doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, they really don't. Yeah. Thumbs, uh, <laughs> dude, if what dogs up, thumbs? have thumbs. <laughs> That's why I'm. That's why. That's I'm why like, raccoons are a force to be reckoned with. They're dude, gonna I'm going to take over raccoons for the next. They're going to take and they're over. They're neat freaks too. Which they is are. I am they are raccoons always for there. The next evolution. <laughs> like they when are we wipe ourselves there. off the <laughs> planet, raccoon people. Legit. <laughs> oh my god. I love the the videos of them where you like, hey, and they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tree. <laughs> you can't see Don't that even say that. I literally, me and my friends, believe it or not, I might have gotten into some shenanigans and hijinks when you? I was a kid. No. no. So we're <laughs> so we're running through this house that we're not supposed to be in. So <laughs> no. What's the statute of limitations on this first? Yeah. I can share that I have also done that. Dude, this is like 30 years ago or 20 okay, well, years keep ago. Keep going. Sorry. So a cop shines a flashlight. My friend next to me does this. I'm a tree. <laughs> so when you said I'm a tree, I'm like, that makes me go. You look totally <laughs> natural against the gray wall. <laughs> oh. That's like I was pissed at my friend one time. Because in a dream, I'm like, help me. And he threw me a rope. <laughs> and what's funny is he called me the next day. I'm like, I can't even talk to you right now. <laughs> like, people do dumb shit. That was in a dream. In real life, yeah, the cops got us. And they had to, uh, and the cops were laughing their asses off. Yeah. They're like, what was that? And he goes. He Defense goes, mechanism. He just goes, I thought if I looked like a tree. <laughs> Except for there's no trees. You wouldn't yeah. see me. Wait a minute. You gotta try and sound Was like a tree high? too. Oh yeah, we're starting to. Sound. Oh okay. <laughs> we're really I'm starting. a tree. No, I was. I'm a tree. 
and he said it with confidence. <laughs> the only said, problem whoa, is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. He said it out loud? He <laughs> yes. didn't just become a tree? Okay. That's, that's what I was there. hearing. I just yeah. thought he became a tree. No. no he said, I'm he a tree. Said, yes. <laughs> okay, okay, got it, got it. He full said picture, the full words. picture. Okay. He said the words. I'm, I'm a tree. tree. I wish that he broke out into song and dance. <laughs> I'm a tree. 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 Like do some sort of sound of music thing. I'm a tree, tree in a meadow in a field of dreams. You're in a parking lot, dude. Get out. <laughs> right. You're the most unnatural thing here. You're in a living. And what's funny is you're in a living room. Of an abandoned house. Right, right. Yeah. Totally stick out like Completely a sore thumb. A tree. Not a Maybe natural. A hat but then again, like people yeah, that wear I'm camouflage to the mall. Rat. People that wear camouflage to the mall. You know what he said? I mean, that's about as useful as the four inch smoke bomb. <laughs> was I'm that from Arrested Development? What was that from? That's for him. That's, that's, that's from us. I, that's oh, something okay, I talk about okay. all the time. I was thinking about Job wanting to be a no. magician. No, that's definitely from no. Scott. This okay. is superhero stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very So advanced. where do you keep the smoke bombs? We're you still trying to have a pouch. Pocket. Do you have a pouch? Yeah, everybody has a smoke bomb. His utility my, belt, right? He's my prison wallet. Oh, right, wallet. right. He doesn't prison have a pouch. Wallet. Oh, God. <laughs> They're stink bombs, too. I quit. Oh, no. So anyway, guys, that was bad. Check out that your was friends. a bad one. Check out your friends. Have watch the show. We tried it. Just be like, look, and feel Just like do that. you're really sad. Watch this show and watch them try to stay on we, top we, of it. Yeah, we're trying to give you some laughs instead of like smoke bombs in your prison wallet. Oh my god! <laughs> and Listen. this is why you don't let your kids watch this because they're gonna be like, "What's a prison wallet?" I don't and know those what of that you is. That don't know, you're gonna look it up I'm, and be don't like, "Don't want to know." Oh, no. I don't know either, and I kind of don't want to know. Y- you don't. There's a couple things I don't know, and I'm good with that. Ignorance is bliss. It's a pocket no, that you would keep you stuff in Shut the fuck up. when you go to prison. Not when somebody won't look. Oh, I know what it is. Exactly. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, You're not my dad. <laughs> You're not my real dad. You said that to Jerry. I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my dad. He's like, go park in the parking lot. I'm like, You're not my dad. <laughs> Jerry's nobody's dad. Like, his neighbors are probably like, what kind of friends does this guy have? Who's the chubby dude with the beard just screaming, you're not my dad? Like, how is Usually that Usually the weirdest friend is Jerry's favorite. That's you. I, I'm definitely the favorite. I am yeah. normal. You? I'll take the favorite card. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so normal. <laughs> fucking Look lie. at it. Watch, watch, watch. Normal. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're actually normal. Well, no, I did it. Watch. Wait. Watch me do normal, normal shit. Normal is in the eyes of the beholder. Watch to me. us, this is normal. Yeah, watch me do normal shit. <laughs> oh, God. I'm scared. You no. may as well that be a tree normal. right now, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Listen, I can't look at him. When I can sit this. up straight in stature. <laughs> <laughs> and your hair is like perfectly quaffed yeah. in the front there. Shut the you, you look fuck super up. normal glamour right shots. now. We'll do glamour shots. Oh, I we would need live it. for glamour shots. <laughs> I've got an 80s dress at home. I have Golden Girls costume. Listen, Scott and I fuck can pull yes. out the sewing machine. Please do. We can get shit done. <laughs> Can you do this? Yes. I kind of want to do the Burt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we got to get like, the cats and be like. <laughs> Dude, if I could get cake to sit still, I would just, I would literally do like the picture of me in a sweater. Like, you I got a sedator, give her wall. some chamomile. <laughs> Dude, I would hang it on the fucking wall and just be like, and then like cakes one eye in the yeah. You have to have the, the good side on in the yeah. corner, yeah. you know, where they yeah. fade the corner and just <laughs> looking like she just yeah. wants to. What kill is you. happening over there? Okay. <laughs> My kids, don't you make fun of my cat. She's going to come in here and beat your ass. Yeah, she is. She's <laughs> Again. She's, she's already by, by all rights. She's fucking bigger than you. By all rights, oh. I, I didn't see her leave. No, she's, I, she's under my chair, I think. Yeah, I think she's under Courtney's chair. I mean, bruisers over here. Best boy bruiser. Yeah. Best boy bruiser. We do, he barked at me dog. twice, and I was like. In this production, no animals were harmed from PETA or what other breads watch Especially us. chicks. 
Did you say breads? No chicks breads. Okay. What other breads watch The us? peeps are non, safe, too. Non. Non-bread. Yeah. If you're watching, we have animals in here. We're not eating them. Or Potato them. loaf. Like non, like the Indian flatbread? Ooh, that is Yum. so good. Right? How Yum. about Papa Doms? How good are Papa Doms? Like, <laughs> yes. Indian food. Don't we're just giving that. you leaders to... Don't we're giving that. you reasons to live. Papa Doms. <laughs> I... I was thinking of killing myself. Shawarma. Love and, curry. Get some shawarma. Right? Dude. Dude, like, you, there's some food out did there. Did you actually that's good. do it? There is so no. much delicious food. Did you? No. So much delicious food. I and there's a lot eat. of love out there. Eat, Candy. eat, apples like and bananas. <laughs> I, like I do to like to eat. But people eat, do feel alone. Eat. They yeah. may be around people. Yeah. And all that stuff, but people do still kind of feel At the end of the day, you go home home by yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's why you would benefit from therapy. Because there's all of, you know, and it's not just talking, like. You can talk to your plants. Curtis said. I don't have any. I almost forgot your name. I'm sorry. It's okay. He's forgettable. I forget my name half the time. (laughs) It's all right. Well, I'm glad nobody got that one. They're asking you questions, and you know, I remember telling my therapist a story, and she was like, do you think maybe you're needy? And I was like. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't. I and that's know. the story about how Courtney fought a therapist. <laughs> and so then I went home and I was like, "Am I needy?" <laughs> so let's talk about me being mean to people, huh? Yeah, I really want to touch on that, sir. Do you? No, I don't. What his leg? Yeah, no, she under- did. She touched me. You, I did. You did. Good job. She We're gonna have her. a sexual harassment little talk after this. Nah, it's alright. HR. Yes, <laughs> HR in the house. Yeah. We have some oppor- is now our HR We have some opportunities that we could work on. You can't fire me. Oh, what kind of opportunities are we talking about? You can't fire me. You can't fire me. <laughs> I volunteer. <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. You get paid with abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of our currency yeah, around that here, is right? Your currency, yes. Basically. And we'd like to thank you for joining us this week at the Early Skating Octopus. From all of us here, honestly, check on your friends. Check on each other, love each other, kind of try to support each other because the world's a mess right now. But we will get through it. We have lived through pandemics. Yes. And we've <laughs> lived through a lot before. You know, uh, in the description, in the links, we are definitely going to have some resources. Mm-hmm. Um, watch llama videos. Do something. What? You know, cartoons always get me. Cartoons. Oh, there's that little girl mood. drummer so that's doing that uh, with battle girl, with Dave Grohl. Gr- I'm living great. for her. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. I'm living for her. What's funny is previous to me finding out about this, I was actually talking to you or somebody about Dave Grohl and how awesome he was because of his whole Scissor Sisters thing. He's from amazing. Years back. If you don't know about I'll it, I have to look that one up. Look it up, Dave. Grohl no, he's an awesome guy though. Yeah, he's amazing. He chews gum a lot though, which it kind of creeps me out. Anyways, go on. But he was in Nirvana. <laughs> yeah, no one else cares. He was in Nirvana, which was also affected by suicide. R- yeah. Um, supposedly. Um, <laughs> Don't. <laughs> We're not doing that. Wake up, Next week, like 20 years too late. Come on. Wake up, sheeple. No, um, Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> so, um, but. Yeah, it's on let's, here. Let's just try to come together. I mean. Our country during this election, everybody's tearing each other apart. Mm-hmm. Everybody's choosing sides and stuff. Don't choose the fucking side. Choose the side where you can vote for whoever the fuck you want to. But let's check on each other. Let's be okay with each other. Yeah, you don't have to this hate your family members. This doesn't have to come blows. This doesn't have to come to this shit. It, yeah, if you honestly, if if politics kind of triggers you or makes you feel like a. a Shit. Stay away then from just, it. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't get into politics. Just stay away from it. If your I family members, away. yeah, if your family members so, like to talk about it, what's funny? Say, but you hey, don't I'm have sorry, to hate I don't want them to talk for about disagreeing right. with you. Is if all They're, the people that actually did put all that political shit mm-hmm. on their Facebooks voted? Because here's the thing: a hundred percent of all of our friends are all about one side or the other, of but course. only thir- yeah. only a third of the population votes. Yeah. So here's how you handle this: people vote. That's it. You don't yeah. got to get in fights. You don't got to disown people. Just vote. And that's all you can do. Yeah. I fell for it. I mean, I argued with some family members and stuff over it. It's really not worth it at the end of the day. It, it is super easy to walk yeah. away from a conversation. And what's important. You literally just walk away from the conversation. Yeah. Right. You don't have to it, walk it away. Stops. You just like put your phone down. Or yeah, put your phone down. <laughs> it right. stops if you are not in the conversation. Right. And what's important just that out there. is that. 
you know, you get through those 3 a.m.s, those endless nights in your brain. That you get through that, you talk to some people, you set up some things so that you're all right. You know, there's no shame in having to talk to a therapist or any of that. So please reach out. Please check on each other. And from all of us, thank you. And we'll see you soon. And we love you guys. Love you. Bye. 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 And <laughs> we're out. I, it's so I'm hot so in here. Oh my god. <laughs> no, listen, I'm tired. I'm falling asleep. I need to go. See, it's like and the radio DJ in the morning. Yes, it's uh, you already shut it to the camera off. It's so hot in here. It is. Well, you oh. put you put this uh, many people.